all gone. Nearest and dearest, P584, program number 17, part one, take one. Oh, no, not again. Oh, since yesterday we've had grilled turkey, fried turkey, roast turkey, turkey pancake, turkey with custard on, turkey with chocolate sauce on. <laughs> now I know why they call it turkey trots. You've got to eat it up, you know, it's a big bird. Are you sure it was a turkey and it wasn't a deep frozen ostrich? Of course I'm sure it was a turkey. I'm the one that had to stuff it. <laughs> it's the first turkey I've ever seen with five parsons noses. <laughs> What are you doing? Sat sitting there. Why aren't you in there with our guesses? Because I'm sick of them. What do you want to invite Lily and Walter for? It's Christmas, isn't it? Lily and Walter are our own flesh and blood. Get away. Lily's got no flesh and Walter's got no blood. <laughs> Look at you. You should talk, eh? The methylated spirit of Christmas. I want all that drunk. No, all that drunk. You came in here on your hands and knees, you said you were Father Christmas and tried to go up the chimney. Well, you might have told me the fire was still lit. <laughs> might have told you, I never see you. What a Christmas I've had. I'd have had as much fun if I'd have been buried under 600 weight of coal. Anyway, it's all over now, isn't it? It's not all over at all. Now get in there now. <coughs> Take these and have a bit of fun with our Lenny and Walter. Oh, aye. We'll have a game of hide and seek and I'll go and hide it, spread eagle. <laughs> Oh, the silly, the fairy queen and king rat. I'd like a turkey sandwich, will you? Oh, thanks, Are you not? Oh, he's still playing with his present. Oh. <laughs> he loves it, he loves it. Yeah, I'm glad we bought it for him. As soon as he woke up this morning, he went straight for it. <laughs> You're not doing it right, love. Not playing with it right, you see. You've got it uh, a bit mixed up. You steal the end, you see. You look through it like that, you see, and you see a lot of painted windows, like beautiful. What do you expect to see? A Polaris submarine? <laughs> He's always like that in the festering season, him. <laughs> uh, let's play another game, shall we? We'll not play another game. I had enough with that last game of Hunt the Slipper. It was ridiculous where you're Walter in it, you know. I got my shirt sleeve absolutely wet through reaching down to pull it out. <laughs> There's one game we haven't played yet. And we're not playing that with you either. <laughs> I meant charades. Oh, yes, let's play that. And I'll be it. That's it. Now, I've got to write down uh, some kind of uh, name or uh, of place, uh, and you've got to get it. <laughs> well, can you spell knotted? <laughs> I'll knot you in a minute. <laughs> there's, there's many a slip twixt carp and lip. Now, I've written it down. Now, I've not told you what it is, you see, because I'm not going to. <laughs> see, what I'm going to do is a sort of a pantomime, Walter, with me body. <laughs> like Isidora. More like Izzy Bon. <laughs> Get on with it, Vanilla. Oh, sure up, you. Just, I'll, I'll just give you the first part of the word, shall I? <laughs> Rackle Welsh. No. Look, I'll give you a proper clue. Now, the, there's many ha. There's many a knicker. <laughs> oh, I nail him. You have a guess, go on. Can we not play Monopoly again? <laughs> oh, yes, I like that. Especially when I landed on Walter's waterworks. <laughs> you don't know how you hurt him not paying for it. <laughs> well, I'm not going to apologise. Because, I mean, he'd have been in jail, you know, if his dice hadn't rolled into that custard. I say, Lily, what did your Walter buy you for Christmas? 
As a matter of fact, when I got into bed on Christmas Eve, I got a lovely surprise. <laughs> it was a new electric blanket. Hey, Walter, you want to be very careful, you know. Electric blanket in your rubber sheet? Poor. <laughs> you could go up in a puff of smoke. You'd be laying there like two grilled lamb chops. Did your Eli get you? <laughs> You're asking, aren't you? Well, you know, I mean, anybody else buys the relations lovely things like effluvia pseudicologna, you know. <laughs> um, a bicycle pump. Well, I got it for the woman that has everything. I haven't got everything. I haven't even got a rotten bicycle. <laughs> you can borrow Walter's three-wheeler. Hey, and that one only thing I got you. No, no. No, I bought me these uh, earrings. He said uh, he got them off a Swiss diamond merchant that he bumped into in the gents in the uh, Spread Eagle. Are they precious stones? More like gold stones, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'd have to have my ears pierced. Well, have your nose pierced at the same time. <laughs> Christmas is not what it was, is it? No, it's not. My goodness, at one time you'd all your relatives all round you, everybody, you know. I mean, where are they now? Scattered to the corners of the earth. Uh, like strange ways, Dartmoor and Penton. <laughs> ah, but you've had, we've had some happy Christmases, though, Dolly, haven't we, love? Oh, we yeah, have. I mean, I can always remember getting up on Christmas morning, coming downstairs and falling over my dad. <laughs> First thing, when I used to wake up, the, uh, I used to say to my mum, has he been? <laughs> Not you, Walter. <laughs> Uh, Father Christmas. Hey, that reminds me. I'm supposed to be playing Father Christmas. Yeah, well, the way you're knocking it back, you should be playing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> no, I've got to put some in his Stan and Grenville stocking like two buckets of disinfectant. They're not working today, are they? Oh, yes, they are. They're down at the factory there, doing some adulterations to a wall. <laughs> hey, there's nothing like the old-fashioned craftsman, is there? Sacrificing the Christmas holiday to get on the job. <laughs> what are you talking about, sacrificing? Think what they're saving at home in gaslight and water. Oh. Hey, and they have the flaming cheek to ask for money. Yeah, the workmen are not what they were, you know. It's all grab, grab, grab. Anyway, goodwill to all men, eh, you Goodwill. Lad? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll get off. Oh, that'll be a big surprise for them. Ah, they'll have a bigger surprise come payday. I'm docking them for two turkey sandwiches and two brown ales. <laughs> I know what you do want. Yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Eli. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, the old were you. You were happy enough in Spread Eagle yesterday, sat on Vinegar Vera's knee, playing Come All Ye Faithful on your paper and comb. Uh, I should never have had that special Christmas lunch at Spread Eagle. Well, what, it a pint of bitter with a tanner in it? No, I was eating my Christmas pudding and I was that drunk, I ate a sprig of Ollie as well. <laughs> hey, we had to take him straight to the doctor's. What did the doctor say? He hoped everything worked out all right. <laughs> hey, anyway. No, he said he didn't know whether to give me opening medicine or weed killer. <laughs> well, get that lot down anyway. Oh. Hey, how's the job coming along? Oh, it's hard work. Hey, this wall must have been up hundred years. I wonder what's behind it. Here <laughs> you find some funny things behind walls. <laughs> is that where your man found you, is it? <laughs> hey, any road will soon be through. Ah, well, one good run is it with your head should do it. Oh, by the way, to show us what us gaffers think about you workers at this time of day, we want you to join in fun, you see. Oh, hey, that's nice. We'll be right across when we've done here. You will, Ella's like. And Ellie sent that for you, that for you, and that's from me to you. mind to it you know I mean it, you, you've, you've really got to give your mind to it you know and consecrate I'm sure we're doing us best Nellie I don't know what about you Walter I mean look he's mucked up the game again oh what's he done this time well he's got Mr Bun the Baker there all the time <laughs> hey come on oh card is it right come on put that one away get all them matchsticks off table we'll have a proper gamble We'll, uh, we'll play for that chocolate money Walter got in his stocking. Listen to danger, ma'am, you big girl's blouse. <laughs> Where do you think you are in America? Yeah? Gambling with fruit gum machines and one-legged bandits? <laughs> in Los Virgins? Hey, 
Las Vegas. Las Virgins. Las Vegas is a bingo all in Blackpool. <laughs> what are we going to play, eh? I know, Walter. We'll play strip poker. Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> Lily might lose. Well, I'm not playing anyway, and neither is Walter. He's given up gambling at cards. Hey, Luke. He's got dead man's hand. Hey, I had that the night before we were married. Looking at, look, looking at Walter, I'm surprised you didn't get it on your wedding night. Does that mean uh, that something shocking is going to happen? But it didn't, did it? Not so you'd notice. Oh, well, I don't think that cards can castrate your future, you know. I mean, though, when I come to think about it, I did have a funny experience, you know, in a tent on Ashton Market. Full of Eastern promise, was he? No, he was uh, one of those clairvoyants, you know. And, uh, you know, one of those that uh, see everything through their crystal balls. What did he tell you? Well... He put it on the table and he said to me, he says, sort of, eyes down, you see, and look in. And so I was lent leaning, looking in. He said, I've got a strong feeling coming over me for money. And what happened, Nelly? I said, no wonder I said, you've got your hand in my handbag. <laughs> Oh, you're daft. It's the same fellow that Auntie Beatty went to at Morecambe. That's right. He told me she'd go outside and meet a, a tall, handsome stranger. Ah, and what happened? She went out, jumped on a bike and knocked Jimmy Cliver over. <laughs> well, there's bound to be disappointment, you know, if you put your trust in crystal balls. You see, you've got to get in touch. Well, how shall I say? Direct. What do you mean, Lily? Well, you know, with them on the other side. Oh, you mean those that were here but have sort of passed on? Well, she don't mean her at Chippy next door, does she? You mean uh, the dead can hear us, do you think? Well, I'm only saying what I know. I went to one of them seances once and we spoke to all sorts from beyond the grave. Did you really? And this medium, she said to me that I was a bit gifted that way and that if I tried, that I could speak with the dead. Well, you've had a lot of practice, haven't you? <laughs> I mean, you've, uh, you've lived with Walter for 30 years, haven't you? Shut up, you. You mean, Lily, you could take one of those seances, you know? You think you could? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I dare say. Well, it's up to you. Well, happen there. Uh, quick word. <laughs> All right, then. Well, I'll have to put the lights out. Oh, what do you mean, then? We'll have to be sat sitting in the dark. I mean, looking into nothing, only blackness. No, you see, they need a little light to guide them. Oh, do they? Mm. So mm. just light these Christmas candles. Mm. Except it's gone out, just a sec. That's it. <laughs> oh, God, it's dark, isn't it? <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> Put our hands on the table. Put our hands on the table. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <Nelly. laughs> well, it weren't me because we haven't decided who we're going to get in touch with yet. Happened it with Vinegar Vera. Yeah. What do you mean? She's not dead. She looked it when she fell off that stool at Fred Eagle yesterday. <laughs> I just thought, like, if she kicked bucket last night, we could have a word with her on a wheel. Oh. If you save a trunk call. <laughs> not dead. I mean, we don't want to, you know, just talk to anybody. I mean, uh, can we t try and get me dad, eh? <laughs> eh? What do you think? That depends, Nelly. What on? On opening time up there. <laughs> I mean, they're about to have a Christmas extension, you know. If they happen to, the hell has. <laughs> well, we just don't want to talk to any dead body, do we? I mean, can we try? And get me down. Well, you can't always guarantee that, Nelly, love. You see, sometimes you bump into a restless spirit what's missed its way. Now, that can be dangerous. Anyway, come on, we'll try. Put your hands up. Right. Close your eyes, dear. Mm -hmm. If you can hear me, knock twice. And ask for Lily. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh... 
If you can hear us, Joshua pledge, knock twice for yes and once for no. <laughs> can anybody hear us? <laughs> 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 I've put the empties in the kitchen. <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> oh, Sarah. Hey, I can feel something. Get your hands back on the table, Walter. <laughs> Something's happening. I can feel the vibration. Yes, so can I. Hey, we shouldn't be doing this stuff with Lily. Let's not do it. Somebody's trying to get in touch with us. Somebody wants past on. <laughs> <laughs> I found him behind the wall. The rest of him's in there. He's in a bad way. Uh, I tried to kiss her life. <laughs> He's a goner. <laughs> I heard of a fellow that once went missing in this factory. My father told me. It would be through Billy Buckley's granddad. Ah, now you mention he does favour him. <laughs> Do you mean before or after he married that young tart? Oh, after he married her, but before he started drinking heavy. What? Well, what were he doing in there? I don't know. He had a spanner in his hand. <laughs> I think he must have been repairing that boiler flue and died on the job. Even <laughs> Dad told me that everybody thought that he'd run off with that heiress to a scrap iron fortune from Accrington. Hey, I hope she's not still waiting for him at bus station. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. She's going into a stupefied trunk. Oh, <laughs> got a bucket of cold water or a... No, I'm back. Oh. Oh. Where have you been? Up in Nicky Nashton. <laughs> anyway, I've had enough. I'm going out and flaming drink, I am. Oh, take the notes of him, Lily. You carry on. Go on. Get your hands on the table. Let's, uh, let's try and get me dad, eh? Oh. Oh. oh, I can feel something, Nelly. Can you? Oh, I can feel something all over me, eh? Oh, yes! Oh. Off to spread eagle. Hey, look at the time. If you start telling them now, we'll miss the last ten minutes at pub. Ah, you're right. <laughs> I know he's not bothered, but I am. Hey, right, well, we'll tell them after. Hey, where shall I put this? I'll leave it there for now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we best be going then, Nelly, love. Yes, that's right, yes. I mean, it's uh, quarter two. Well, I must get a little hand put on this watch, I mean. Well, you best be off. I think it's going to snow. My naffy war wounds playing me up again. As you know, the water's got his wellies. Oh, no, they were rubbing. Oh, oh it wasn't naffy rash, then. <laughs> well, come on, good night, midnight, cowboy. Come <laughs> on, take any home. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Getting in touch. Uh, hey, dear, when your feet came up there, God, oh, <laughs> I nearly died. <laughs> oh, gosh. <coughs> you know you had a little corn on your little toe? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think our Nelly, our Lily, I mean, is a, is a mediocre? You mean a medium? Yes, she's medium way between being potty and absolutely crackers. <laughs> Well, I'll just go and side up in here because I can't face dirty pots in the morning. Go on, then I'll see you later. <laughs> I don't think we should tamper with things like that, you know, at all. I mean, when you're dead, you're dead. I mean, you really can't talk like that at all. I mean, it's no use. I mean, what you want to do is to let, I mean, people rest in peace. I mean, that's what I say. Oh, meddling with something you know nothing about. I think that's a silly thing to do. I mean, we don't want both to join them up there, do we? I mean, and uh, they certainly don't want to join us down here, do they? Have a...
Come on, Nelly. Come on. Wake up, love. Come on now. Come on. It's on your skull. Oh, where am I? Where is it? Well, he wanted a taxi, but they were a bit busy tonight. <laughs> where is it now? Well, it was feeling a bit cold, so I covered it up with tea coffee. Oh, I'll do something. Like what? Well, I'd like to ring up Whitehall 1212. What's that, the boneyard? No, it's Scotland Yard and ask him to send a, 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 an ambulance for it, it. It's a bit late for that now, Nelly. That's where it comes from, tampering with something that lies beyond the great behind. Nelly, there's some perfectly simple explanation as to why this school must have been on our house. What's the simple explanation, then? I don't know. I think it's rather nice myself. Look very well on the end of my car keys. Get that skull and crossbones out of here. Why is talking to me now? What's he saying? It says, could you recommend some good dicks? <laughs> Where did it come from, anyway? Well, I don't know. I think Butcher must have pulled a fast one on us. I said that was a big turkey you were carving up, you know. Hey, you did mention it was the biggest wishbone you'd ever seen. <laughs> anyway, don't worry, love. Keep cool. I'll do something with it. What will you do with it? I'll take it for a drink. Drink? <laughs> Get out! Do anything with it. Go on, burn it, drown it. Leave it on Chippy's windowsill. Do anything. Just come back on your own, that's all. Oh, God. Pull yourself together, Nelly. Oh. oh, dear. Must be a perfectly simple explanation for it. Really, I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, perhaps I got it as a free gift with that last packet of washing powder. <laughs> It's only a skull, isn't it? Oh, still, I don't know what my dad would think if he saw me now. <laughs> he wouldn't have to have a laugh. <laughs> He's not there, are you, Dad? <laughs> no, it's just a fig leaf of me imagination. <laughs> what was that? Oh, no, it's just a cat trying to get in. We haven't got a cat. <laughs> Just, it's just the wind whistling up the ginnel. Oh, God! Oh, that would happen just when I haven't got a shilling for the meter. In any case, if I had got a shilling for the meter, I'm not going down there <laughs> to put it in the meter under those stairs. Oh, God! You can't come in! Our Eli's got your head, you can have it back! <laughs> spirit that's lost its way. Oh, we're well, Lily and Walter. What's Mr. Boss? <laughs> I feel much better now you're here. Are you sure you don't mind stopping with me? No, of course not, love. Now you'll be all right. Oh, you must have been absolutely perished. Stood standing there at that bus stop, <laughs> waiting for that bus. I mean, your Walter's teeth were still chattering when he took him out. <laughs> No buses had stopped running mm. until one drove past and driver leant out and he says we've stopped running. <laughs> I'm only just feeling thawed out now. Yeah. It were a school lily, I had it in my hand. Oh, no, now no. stop it now. Now just think of something else. I like this night you've lent me. You're one of my mum's old wins, yes. Oh, that's very nice. Hey, just one thing. She weren't wearing it, were she, when, you know, she passed over. Well, I should hope not. She was on a shadow bank coming from Blackburn. He'd <laughs> been to see the hallucinations. <laughs> I offered one of them to her, Walter, but he didn't seem bothered at all. No, it wouldn't be. Not Walter. Well, what's he sleeping in them? Same as he always sleeps in. What? Well, his long comes. <laughs> no. What then? Well, you know. Oh, the hell should I know? <laughs> Walter started sleeping as nature intended. <laughs> but now it's winter, he keeps his socks on. <laughs> you mean he's sleeping naked in the nude with no top? He only started doing it a month ago. He says it's the modern way. Oh, I don't know. Well, if he's only got his socks on, I hope to God he doesn't walk in his sleep. <laughs> Who's that? If it's the ghost, get gone. Sorry, Eli, come in, and if it's Walter, go and get some flaming clothes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>
Ah. It's the oath black of Nostradamus. Oh, you like get them collar stiffness out of your mouth and grow up. What the hell's she doing here? Oh, Lillian Walter got strangled in the snow. <laughs> You mean stranded? I wish you'd been right first time. Where's Walter? He's uh, sleeping in your bed. Oh, thanks for telling me. I'd have right, been a right mess if I'd have jumped into bed with him. I'd have got a right shot, wouldn't I? Be like worse than that woman in Psycho. Uh, what did you do with, you know, I t told Lily about it. What, the dead fella's head? Oh, you shouldn't oh. say that. You say what? The dead fella's head. Uh... <laughs> No, oh, I got really fr I'm really frightened, though, Eli, like, while you were out. I mean, I heard the clanking of chains. That were me in lavatory trying to pull flush gold down. And did it go? Didn't want to. <laughs> well, what have you done with it now? It's on table. On table? Well, it was too big to go in the fridge. You slid your ass, not sleep a week, you sleep tonight. Oh, don't be silly. Get your head down. <laughs> How can I get my head down with that head? Down there! Now, you just lie back and think of nice things. Nice things? <laughs> now, you've just had a shot, that's all. You'll <laughs> be all right. <laughs> Good night, Nelly, love. Good night, Nelly. <laughs> 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 hey, do you... Hey, do you think we should be Lily? No, no, no. Then we don't... They, they may, it might have us. No. <laughs> If we don't find out what it is, Nelly, none of us is going to get a wink of sleep tonight. Well, it might be anything, mightn't it? It might be one of those who do zombies, mightn't it? <laughs> one of those vampers. <laughs> is that one of them things that plays piano in middle at night? <laughs> and then when you open the door, there's nobody there? Oh, that's Mrs Mills. <laughs> Big clock on. Well, really, it's sort of, you know, got wings and it's all black and it sucks blood, you know, out of young, beautiful girls. Um, well, in that case, I think you better go first. Really? <coughs> oh, well, I like it! Oh, we're nearly dropping off then. What the hell are you doing here? I told you I wasn't going to sleep with Walter again. Not if you wore a diver suit for pyjamas. We only came down to see that, what, what that horrible morning were. What horrible morning? Oh. That's it, Lily, you just did that right. <laughs> Lily, it wasn't me. Oh, my God. <laughs> it seemed to be coming from our parlour. You mean where that legless head is? Hmm. Go in and get some. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 I, I can't go. Why can't you go? Me back. What's wrong with your back? I've got a great big yellow street right up it. <laughs> You're, you're friends with them, you know, you're more friendly. Yeah, oh, I mean, if it's anything frightening, you're the best one to scare them off, you see. Hey, well, if that's your attitude, you can go. Anyway, I'm sure there's a simple explanation for it all. Yeah. I hope. Well, I think we're being silly, being all so massive sterilised. <laughs> well, you know, it, your imagination plays tricks with you, doesn't it, you know? I mean, you often hear horrible, weird moaning at middle of the night, don't you? I mean, it could be anything, couldn't it? Like a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how your mind plays tricks, you know. Walter wouldn't go to sleep for weeks after we'd been to see that picture, The Curses of the Vampire. Oh, I know what you mean. Mind you, I can't understand your Walter being frightened of vampires. He's got no for him, has he? <laughs> <laughs> that was worse than he went to make me go and see. With uh, this fellow, you see, he comes out, you know, and he looks at these lovely girls, you see, and he took them up back alleys, you know. What would it call this? Uh, Jack the Zipper. <laughs> He saw that when we were courting me and Walter. I wouldn't let him take me up back alley to kiss me goodnight, I can tell you that. No. Well, they were worse on one than that, you know. It, uh, I forget the name of the picture, why it was, but uh, it was about a was wolf. Werewolf. I don't know where it was, but uh, it was a sort of was wolf, you see. And this was a lunatic, you see, who had gone mad. And he went out and he went to their own houses for his victims, you know. And then he congregated them, you see, by the light of a lamp. And then, and what was the name of that picture? I can't remember it. Eli, what was the name of that picture? Oh, yes, the face at the window. <laughs> Thing he is. Oh my God, it's the vicar. 
Merry Christmas. Oh, and Happy New Year. Yes, I'm sure our Eli didn't mean to hurt you when he threw that bottle of brown ale at you, you dividend. <laughs> now, uh, you see, we all thought you were horrible. You, I mean, uh, we thought you were something horrible outside our window. Weren't you going, your ignorance? <laughs> I was uh, just on my rounds visiting the sick, the poor, and the lonely. Oh, well, you've just caught him in then, haven't you? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, have you been uh, just doing your Good King Wednesday last? Yes, and out there it's uh, certainly deep and crisp and even. <laughs> I'll kill that horse. I told the stand to sweep it up before he left. You're all right, aren't you? I, I mean, he didn't hurt you, did he? No, I'm sorry about thumping you, Vicar, but there's been some funny business going on here tonight. Funny. Oh, has there? Oh, nothing like that. We don't go in for wife swapping round here. <laughs> no, I mean, I wouldn't mind a bit of sister swapping occasionally, but not to wife swapping. Sure, up you. Uh, would you mind sitting down? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So you've been going hither and thither, have you, in uh, your parish, dropping your little messages? Well, yes, I've just been round with the uh, Christmas collection, uh, singing a few carols, having a few drinks, pulling a few crackers. <laughs> I pulled a cracker yesterday at Spread Eagle, but her husband was with her. <laughs> Yes, I, uh, I didn't see you in uh, church yesterday, Mr. Pledge. I didn't see you in Spread Eagle. <laughs> so have you been going round with your gold uh, and uh, infant senses is, is, uh, and myrrh and getting your just reward? Well, uh, if you can call it a reward, 18 shillings, five bob in halfpennies and 10 rupees from a convert from Bradford. <laughs> well, it's more nobly to give than to receive. <laughs> Cold tonight, Mr. Pledge? Oh, it's freezing. It's enough to freeze the mountain, eh? Very cold. Oh, better, yeah. I'll uh, get you. You'd like a drop of that half stuff, wouldn't you? There we are. There we are. Excuse me, could I have a word with you, short ass? <laughs> Aren't vicars supposed to say something that frightens spooks? You don't say that. No, I mean, they, they say something special and the ghost goes west. You mean it frightens the ghost to death? Yes. Ask him and then we can all get a bit of kip. Oh, you think I should? Yes, go on. Your reverence, I wonder if I might take a small excursion on your time for a minute. By all means, what is it? Well, you see, there's something very funny going on in this house. I mean, there's something really not natural at all. I mean, have you ever learnt how to tell a spook to take its hook? <laughs> What spook? Well, we're being haunted, you see. By psychic phenomena. <clears throat> yes, and by a ghost as well. Oh, I see a ghost. No, where? No, where no, no I mean, uh, <laughs> what kind of a ghost? Well, this uh, ghost has been dead for about 200 years. It's a poor, tormented soul that doesn't know what it's doing, but it keeps getting up, you see, and it keeps walking about in the middle of the night. <coughs> It's oh, no, no, no. He's not a ghost, he's just practising. Walter, what are you doing down here at this time of night? Thank God he's got summer time. <laughs> Walter, you might well shake, love. I'm sorry, you must be upset. He's absolutely got the collie wobbles. I hope he hasn't, he's got my new combinations on. Come on, love, I'll tuck you in. So, uh, you've got a ghost and, uh... I suppose you want me to exorcise it. Oh, no, it's had plenty of exercise, you see. Because uh, our Eli took it for a walk. What she's trying to say is we found a skull. Yes, it's a skull, you see, and it's dead from the neck up. Well, where is it now? <laughs> well, our Eli put it in the parlour. Oh, made it comfortable. <laughs> yes, well, I'll, uh, I suppose you want me to have a look at it. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> well, we're not expecting a miracle. You won't get any. Don't worry, I've not been in the job that long. <laughs> well, this way, Vicky. Just to, it's uh, through that door over there, you see. Who? <laughs> Hello. How are things going? Oh, God, I get some awful jobs in this trade. I think I'll pack it in. How much do they make on the buses these days? What am I going to do with you? You look as bad as I feel. <laughs> Certainly put the wind up that lot, though. Mm. Always the same at Christmas. People are stuffing themselves with food, getting boozed up. And then they wonder why they uh, keep hearing things. Pathetic. Do you know, those without faith often get scared of their own shadows. Mm. 
Pardon me, Schnelly. My belly's playing me up. I think it must be that sprig of volley I had. Sprig of volley yet? What are you doing here, you great gobby ale camp? We had after time it spread eagle. Oh, there, there, there was something I had to tell you. I, oh, hey, hey. We found a skeleton when we knocked that old wall down. Oh, you found him. Found it? He's practically one of the flaming family. <laughs> it's you that brought this skinhead in here, is it? <laughs> you bog-eyed, specky-eyed old... <laughs> oh, you, that's what you are. Do you realise what you've done? You've absolutely had me prostitute with fear. There's <laughs> no to be frightened of. We reckon it's only beat root Billy Butley's granddad. What, you mean that fellow's been missing all these years? I, I think he were mending boiler and got trapped at back a bit. Well, there's one consolation, Nelly. If it is Billy Beetroot, we, uh, we can stop stamping his cards now, can't we? <laughs> hey, if it's Beetroot Billy's granddad, he won't hurt you. He was a lovely fella. He had a wonderful sense of humour. <laughs> Look, Nelly, he's smiling at you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you there was a perfectly simple explanation, didn't I? I don't care what explanation there is. Every time I look at it, it sends gold, cold bicycles up and down my spine. Go on, give it back to Beetroot Billy. Go on. It's his granddad, isn't it? Oh. And they want to put it on the mantelpiece. <laughs> ah, that's right. We'll give it to Beetroot Billy. After all, he always said he wanted to get ahead with his family. Get ahead with his family. Hey, hey, I, I don't suppose they'll want the rest of him, will they? No. Where would they keep him? In umbrella stand? <laughs> oh, God. What a day it's been tonight, eh? <laughs> All the time it was Stan was the pisic funny bum. Uh, hey, you know, fancy getting worked up about a little thing like this. Hey, look, Nelly, look, 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 look. Sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me. Oh, oh no, no, look at that, look at that. That'll teach you not to pick your nose. <laughs> oh, what a performance. <laughs> you know, all the time I and were doing that seance thing, I, th I thought my dad was there. Do you think he's trying to get in touch with us? No, he's probably happy enough up there. Yeah. Do you think he's met my mother yet? If he has, he'll be on his way back. <laughs> hey, I wonder if they've got colour television up there yet. I wonder, you know, if he's got his pigeons up there with him. <laughs> Oh, he'll be a lot higher up than the pigeons now, you know. Well, he'll be able to get his own back on him, won't he? <laughs> oh, well, I think a bit of Kip's indicated. Come on. Oh, dear, I wish my dad were here now. I wish he'd come down and, you know, just say, he'd give us a bit of advice, you know, every now and then I can do with it. <laughs> I bet he's here somewhere, love. Do you think so? Watching over us. Yeah. <coughs> You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he sat in his chair in there now. Do you really think he might be sat sitting in his own chair? There? Well, he could be, you know. Watching us go to bed. Oh. Seeing we're all right. Hey. Good night, love. Good night, love. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, love. All right. I'll just put... Uh, thing in front of the fire. <laughs> hey there, Dad. Are you, Are you sat sitting there in your chair? <laughs> No, I've not let anybody sit in that chair, you know, since you sat in there. Not likely, it's your chair. <laughs> I often come and sit here and have a little talk with you and ask your advice about whether we should have any more red pickled cabbage or if we should have some smaller jars to pickle in. <laughs> I see, I realise he's not really very interested. You can't blame him in one sense, but on the other, I mean, it comes very hard on me, you know, Dad. Because, I mean, after all, I'm only a woman. Is that you, Nelly? <laughs> you are. <laughs> I've got
got a message for you. Have you, Dad? Yes, I love you and Eli loves you. And you mustn't worry about him. Must I not, Dad? No, you must always act, let Eli have his own way and go down to the pub when he wants to. Why, Dad? Well, there is a reason. I'll tell you when you join me up here. It won't be long now. <laughs> well, just a minute, Dad. I'm sure I realize I'd just like to have a word with you. I mean, I won't be long because he's only just now gone to bed. Ta-ra, then. Don't forget, I love you and Eli loves you. Over and out. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Dad. He's coming up now. Nearest and dearest, P584, programme number 17, part one, take one. Not again. Oh, since yesterday we've had grilled turkey, fried turkey, roast turkey, turkey pancake, turkey with custard on, turkey with chocolate sauce on. <laughs> now I know why they call it turkey trots. You've got to eat it up, you know, it's a big bird. Are you sure it was a turkey and it wasn't a deep frozen ostrich? <laughs> of course I'm sure it was a turkey. I'm the one that had to stuff it. <laughs> it's the first turkey I've ever seen with five parsons' noses. <laughs> Look, what are you doing? Sat sitting there. Why aren't you in there with our guesses? Because I'm sick of them. What do you want to invite Lillian Walter for? It's Christmas, isn't it? Lillian Walter are our own flesh and blood. Get away. Lily's got no flesh and Walter's got no blood. <laughs> Look at you. You should talk, eh? The methylated spirit of Christmas. I want all that drunk. No, oh, that drunk. You came in here on your hands and knees, you said you were Father Christmas, and tried to go up the chimney. Well, you might have told me fire was still lit. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, I never see you. What a Christmas I've had. I'd have had as much fun if I'd have been buried under 600 weight of coal. Anyway, it's all over now, isn't it? It's not all over at all. Now, get in there now. <coughs> Take these and have a bit of fun with our Lenny and Walter. All oh, right. We'll have a game of hide and seek and I'll go and hide it. Spread eagle. <laughs> oh, the silly here, the fairy queen and king rat. <laughs> I'd like a turkey sandwich, will you? No, thanks, Lord. Are you not? Oh, he's still playing with his present. Oh. <laughs> he loves it, he loves it. He, I am glad we bought it for him. As soon as he woke up this morning, he went straight for it. <laughs> You're not doing it right, love. Not playing with it right, you see. You've got it uh, 
bit mixed up, it's the other end, you see. You look through it like that, you see, and you see a lot of painted windows, like beautiful. What do you expect to see, a Polaris submarine? <laughs> He's always like that in the festering season, him. Uh, let's play another game, shall we? We'll not play another game. I had enough with that last game of Hunt the Slipper. It was ridiculous where your Walter in it, you know. I got my shirt sleeve absolutely wet through reaching down to pull it out. There's one game we haven't played yet. Ah, and we're not playing that with you either. I meant charades. Oh, yes, let's play that. And I'll be it. That's it. Now, I've got to write down uh, some kind of uh, name or uh, a place, or, and you've got to get it. Well, can you spell knotted? <laughs> I'll knock you in a minute. <laughs> there's, there's many a slip, twixt cup and lip. Now, I've written it down. Now, I've not told you what it is, you see, because I'm not going to. <laughs> see, what I'm going to do is a sort of a pantomime, Walter, with me body. <laughs> like Isidora. More like Izzy Bon. <laughs> Get on with it, Vanilla. Oh, sure up you. Just I'll, I'll just give you the first part of the word, shall I? <laughs> Rackle Welsh. <laughs>